Many livestock producers are interested in improving hay or pasture stands with the addition of a legume. The use of non-bloating legumes such as sicer milk vetch are desirable for many livestock and forage producers due to pasture management options, productive capability and nutritional quality. Producers are interested in the most effective methods of establishing this sometimes difficult to establish legume. Sicer milk vetch is a perennial forage best suited for pasture due to its creeping and prostrate growth habit. It is desirable as part of a grazing blend due to its ability to fix nitrogen without the risk of bloat that comes with grazing alfalfa. Sicer milk vetch has a high percentage of hard seeds, meaning that establishment may be extended over a number of years, and it is therefore recommended that sicer seed be scarified prior to planting in order to achieve more even germination. The newer varieties used in this demonstration are reported to have better seedling vigor than existing varieties. In partnership with Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture Forage Specialists, the Saskatchewan Forage Council conducted a demonstration of perennial forage crops in Saskatchewan through funding from the Agricultural Demonstration of Practices and Technologies, or ADOPT program. In 2012 and 2013, 50 different forage varieties were seeded side by side at four research farms around the province to demonstrate new and unique forage varieties in comparison to those more commonly used and to demonstrate any differences in establishment, growth habit, maturity, and yield of these grass and legume species. Two varieties of Sicer milk vetch were included in this demonstration. The Saskatchewan Forage Council also conducted a demonstration of Sicer milk vetch establishment options at two sites in Saskatchewan in partnership with Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture Forage Specialists and through funding from the ADOPT program. This project demonstrated three options for establishing Sicer milk vetch as part of a new forage stand, including seeding a forage mixture into an existing forage stand that had been sprayed with herbicide, seeding a forage mixture into an existing forage stand that had been cultivated, and seeding a forage mixture into annual crop stubble. The most successful establishment of Sicer milk vetch in these two demonstrations was at sites in the perennial forage demonstration where both weed competition and competition from other forage plants was at a minimum. At the Sicer establishment sites near Looseland and Medstead, Saskatchewan, Sicer milk vetch was seeded as part of a forage blend with alfalfa and brome grass. In this demonstration, Sicer milk vetch seedlings made up between 0 and 9 percent of the total plant cover in the first year of growth. The more successful areas of the Medstead plots were those where seeding was believed to be shallow and soil was not packed as firmly. At the loose land site, seeding the sicer blend into cultivated land was slightly more successful than seeding into the sprayed forage stand or annual crop stubble in year one. However, monitoring of these sites in future years will be needed to determine the ultimate success of this forage crop. Sicer milk vetch yields in the perennial forage demonstration tended to be lower than alfalfa but higher than both sanfoin and bird's foot trefoil. An exception to this was a duplicate site at the Canada Saskatchewan Irrigation Diversification Centre in Outlook, Saskatchewan, where sanfoin outyielded both the non-bloating legumes and all varieties of alfalfa on demonstration. The AC Velt variety outyielded the Oxley II variety at all sites where yield was measured in the perennial forage demonstration. To find out more about this project or about selecting forages for your farm, visit the Saskatchewan Forage Council website. Click the resources link to find the forage species selection tool and fact sheets relating to forage selection and establishment. The full report of the perennial forage demonstration and Sicer milk vetch establishment adopt projects can also be accessed on the website. You can also visit the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture website to find the forage specialist for your region and other forage related resources.